Hi! I wanted to stop by and say hello and a big thank you to everybody who made it and everybody who's still in my group and hasn't left. I know the chats can be really annoying when it keeps giving you notifications. Um, and I just wanted to share some magic, really, since our little meetup the other day. So it's lovely to see that Eleanor's got her oils, but more than that, and you know, I'm not, this is just going to sound like I'm taking credit for everything magical that's happening to Eleanor, not the case, but when, it's made me realise so much, when you step into, um, you know, a group that's spiritually minded, if you like, um, these crazy synchronicities start happening so it wasn't a surprise when Eleanor said to me that she'd had this amazing day her son's her phone dropped into her son's school bag and then she ended up on this mad walk all around town to different places that she wouldn't have it wouldn't have happened had she not left her her phone in her son's school bag and yeah, she had a great day because she went and she was talking to lots of different people and that was so lovely to hear. And I, actually, I didn't think anything of it to start with and then I started reflecting on the kind of synchronicities that have been happening my end and, I, and it made me realise maybe that's what's going on for Eleanor as well because, as I say, when you get together with like-minded spiritual people, the, the energy is more potent and these things start happening and it's amazing. So, um, with myself, I picked some, some cards the other day. Um, Vanessa Jean, who's also in Tanya's group, designed these beautiful cards. I'll share them with you another time. And they're all the essential oils on one side, and then on the other side, it's like an affirmation and what the oil's good for and things. So, I picked some cards the other day. And one of the oils was, I don't know if I'm pronouncing this right, Kapoiba, I think it is. And I thought, oh, okay, well, I don't have that oil. And, and I just kind of put the card to one side. Um, and I, the affirmation resonated with me, but I thought nothing more of it. Anyway, at the talk that we did in the park with Tanya, I said to Tanya as I was leaving, oh, um, I've got that checkup at the hospital tomorrow about my mole that you pointed out on my back that didn't look too healthy. And she said, oh, you need kapoiba oil to put on it with frankincense. They're anti, anti-cancerous oils and you can just put them on your moles. I was like, wow, you know, there's, there's... Sometimes we pick something or something happens that doesn't mean anything yet you know but then it makes sense later on so that was that was really good that was really magic and these are the sorts of things that happen that give me faith that I'm being like looked out for you know um and when I went to the hospital they um they said that my mole has to come off urgently which is happening next week and it's going to go and be tested so um yeah, I went into slight panic mode um, and, you know, what happens when you go into fight or flight is the logical part of your brain just kind of shuts down, doesn't it? Because your body's getting ready to flee or fight. So I didn't really take in a lot of what the doctor was saying to me, but I just heard all the scary words, you know, like if it comes back that it is malignant, is that the word? Then we'll take more of your back away and we and then the plastic surgery was mentioned and then checking the lymph nodes was mentioned so i'm just picking up on all the scary words and slightly panicking and um i wanted to share this because i know the for me staying in a state of fear i know is gonna make my immune system struggle even more right because prolonged cortisol around the body just wreaks absolute havoc doesn't it and then your immune system copes even less well than it normally would um, and you get irritable and you get headaches and all of that so I thought okay I've had my little panic that's my allotted freak out time now I need to um, be positive 
do my affirmations, work with the law of attraction, gratitude, um, be super healthy to support my immune system. And yeah, stay away from the fear. Don't let the fear take over. And sometimes I feel like, and I know everybody feels like this, you're just constantly being tested, don't you? It's like one test after another, after another, after another. And when, it, when you've had lots of challenges all close together and lots of struggles, and then you get another one, I think it gets to the point where you, where you click and you think, ah, I really am being tested. And it makes you determined, like not to crumble under it. Because recently I have nearly crumbled under the pressure of everything going on. And then this came along and I, and I thought, ah, okay, I'm having another test. And you know, if I can cope with this, and um, stay calm then I know that that will be rewarded and I'll be given the next piece of the puzzle and you know this is how I look at life now anyway I'm really rambling I'm going to say goodbye please stay tuned because we're going to do a follow-up from our first class very soon so anybody having troubles enrolling or wants any help with anything stay tuned and we're going to do lots more um, lots more coming up Okay, take care. Have a great weekend. Bye.